The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by Baker Air Guns, Air Guns of Arizona, and High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop. You'll find links to these and more in the description down below. Welcome back to the show. I am Chad Kettner, your air gun advisor. And in front of me, I have a rifle that you are probably very familiar with. That is the Raw HM1000X. This one in a nice charcoal stock, but a little bit different because this has a drop down moderator on it, which was a moderator from a few years back. And they did it, this design so you could have your scope nice and low. Now they've gone through a couple of different iterations since then. But I've heard a really kind of a, a rumor, let's say, that uh, I had to test out and find out for myself because I don't believe it, first and foremost. And that is that RAW's quality has somehow changed over the years. So, you know, I went out on a limb, and I don't think that's, uh, that's the case. I don't think that RAW's quality has changed. And I actually went out without RAW's knowledge, Air Force's knowledge, and purchased my own raw HM1000X, the very version that is being used today. Let's take a look. Let's swap it out. And you will see that this version is in a nice red stock. And there's a couple of differences already that make me think that this is not a some sort of inferior air gun compared to the old ones, but rather a step up and I haven't even taken this to the range yet and shot it. So first and foremost though, you're going to notice that they allow you now to put whatever moderator you want on this. <laughs> That's awesome because if you know anything about air guns, different weight, different moderators can impact the accuracy as it changes their harmonics. So we have options now. That's better, wouldn't you agree? The second thing that I've noticed, other than now that says rapid air works on here instead of the old rapid air weapons is that look at the side lever. The old side lever did not have a drop down handle and the current version does. Another tick in the that's better box. How about anything else on here that is different? Well, to be honest, there really isn't. Everything else on the outside appears to be the same as my original HM1000X that I did some really thorough testing. And if you want to watch those, I'll put a link at the end of this video so you can go back and compare yourself. Now, I did some chronograph testing with this rifle. Again, I haven't shot it yet. And it was shooting just around 900 feet per second. And it was super accurate as far as consistency goes because that consistency with a standard deviation after 25 shots was just 3.4. Now, if you're saying, why just 24 shots? Because that's all I did. I was tired of wasting pellets, guys. A standard deviation of 3.4 over that many shots? I mean, come on. We already saw the writings on the wall. We know what's going on inside this rifle. It is consistent. So again, I ask you, what's not to like here with the new RAW HM1000X and I use new as a light term because it's really the same gun that's always been produced by RAW with a couple of improvements, like I mentioned earlier, with that cocking side lever, as well as the no moderator on the end. For those of you who want to try it out, your old moderators. So there's only one thing. Well, hold on. Let's do the trigger test. I did do a trigger test. And on the HM1000X that I tuned... Yes, that I tuned the original one, that black charcoal one behind me here. I was able to get a trigger pull down to 2.7 ounces. So what do you think this trigger was? Well, this trigger was actually almost identical, if not slightly better, with a trigger pull of 2.5 ounces. And that was not me trying to go through and find the best trigger pull. Remember, this is something that I purchased with my own money to do some research for you guys back home. And you know what? There is one other thing that I failed to mention. That is the cost. The old HM1000X with a drop-down moderator or even with one of those big cans on the front that come from the factory, well, that's over $2,000 for one of those guns. This version comes in 
at under $2,000. Now, that is a competition air gun shooting lights out at 100 yards. I haven't tested this one yet. I'm going to assume that it will. And matter of fact, I saw it shoot well. Another one of these at RMAC 2023 this year. Go look at the scores. You'll see that there is a raw up there. And I am very impressed, guys. Very impressed. And that price point has come down. So what are you waiting for? Let's go out. I want to go check this out. First of all, big shout out to High Pressure Pneumatics up in Michigan. Um, that is who I ordered this from. And they shipped it down to here in Columbus, Ohio and got it to me. And uh, like I said, Raw doesn't know I'm doing this yet. So let's hope the results are good in their favor. Let's go ahead and I'm going to clean the barrel here. Like I said, I haven't shot it yet. Clean the barrel, get a scope mounted on this, and we're going to go get it down to the range and find out for ourselves. Let's do that. To be down. Well, Air Gunners finally made it down to the range. Got the raw HM1000X shooting 25 caliber, 25 grain pellets at 100 yards. Added the zero dB moderator on the end, as you can tell. This thing is spot on. Now I'm shooting with a 16 power scope. If I were shooting Ventress, I definitely want to do something a little bit more than that. But it's all I had in the kit today. Uh, it's the end of the day. Got a little bit of battery power left, so we're going to see if we can get this done. 100 yards, this is out of the box. The only thing I've done is added the moderator and cleaned the barrel. So, let's see how we do. Gotta get the hat out of the way. All right, still good here, still good. 100 yards, let's see what we can do. Now I'm gonna blow one off just to kind of see where we're at. All right, now I'll blow one off, kind of see where we're at here. All right. Now let's go ahead and get this target going at 100 yards. Five shot group, that easy guys at 100 yards, the raw HM1000X. Go watch this other video wherever my hands are. Go watch that other video guys, so that way you can compare apples to apples. But I'm telling you guys, this gun is great for under 2K. Wow. Oh, I pulled it. Guys, that's 100 yards. You can see down there, I've been shooting groups like this all day. Some even better than that last group. If you have not shot a raw HM1000X, do yourself a favor, go pick one up. Go visit my friends over at High Pressure Pneumatics. A lot of other people shooting these and also doing well at extreme bench rest with these or any kind of bench rest at 100 yards or below. So go check them out. Until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth. Those pellets fly straight. And we'll see you again right here on the Airgun Advisory. <laughs>